Ah, uh, you two people, this your boy Bullshit 3000 on here again. Not doing a demo, we're doing a basically a demo of the radio, basically. Uh, 12 Dynamic 12. He asked me to show him about the security system, on the, what part detaches on the on the radio itself. So I'm just gonna show him a little, show him what detached. So this is for you, Dynamic. All right, first of all, on the radio. So you could detach it anytime you want to, basically. But what you have to do is to detach the face is you have to go to the bottom right there. A little lip right here. Grab that and just put it off. And then detach it. And see as it does, automatically goes back in and shut down. Now, most folks say you probably put this right here, it might come on. Yeah, but you still got, you still come on like that. But then the one thing though, when the face is not recognized on there, but some of the do, the way you can tell when the face is not on there or something. to see but more folks ain't gonna figure that out but you still hold down and still use the same functions you press all these to go same thing as on here it really not it really no big feature but I don't think about it you can still use the remote and everything on with the face detaching this little piece that is attached that's this little piece right here so I mean that's all the attaches but I don't have to take it off you got a good alarm system you should be fine but if you wanted to t attach it, just to detach it, you just take it off. And to put it back on, you simply, from left, from right, was it left to right, I think it's left to right. Yeah, left to right. And that's it. So I was basically showing you what it does as far as security. But it got a lot of good features on it that I like. Uh, they got the radio, audio, video, audio video input. They got two audio video input, and they got a disc, USB, the SD card, which goes behind this. When you pop the face off, that's the SD card slot. Um, I, I only use the USB all the time, so there ain't no thing for me. Um, then you can go in there. You can do go into. Um, the settings. I want it ready to come on first, so I can show you all this, all the different backgrounds and colors and so on. Come on. Takes a while for the USB to load up because I got a hard drive hooked up to mine, which is the best thing I ever done. So. I got everything on. I got movies, um, music videos, and I got pictures and everything on that. So, and it plays all the way back through here. So, plays all the videos, plays all the movies, and plays all the pictures and music. But back to the settings now. You get the CD button. You got your TV aspect, which is TV side screen. How you want to set it. You got your time apart photos, that's for your sliding photos or whatever. I mean, and you got this right here, this DOV, which you could have like um, automatically down, send videos to your head unit itself. I think you gotta get a piece for it, I don't know for sure. Um, for the speaker setting, you got the regular fade bass graphic. Which is like you got your flat, mine's on flat, custom, custom two vocals, natural, your powerful, and your super bass. So I keep mine's on flat because I got a, a another processor running behind the head towards the amps. So you know, of course, you got your audio video input. You can turn on or off either one you want to. And you go all the way down to your auto flap 
to make it automatically flap, come open, or and you got your auto set back to make it come back and forth. Got the display 10, 4, back, you know. And you got your um, auto flap, auto flap back. You can make it go forward, back. Um, just a tip, you know the yeah detachable face one, and I got a and yeah that that that's like you know, camera player, your backup camera, you put it whatever for battery or the ground negative or what whatever your backup camera is. Oh shit. Um. Also got your appearance, whatever color you want to set it, go from red, so everything turns red, orange, we got orange here, green, or if you want to do blue, which is my favorite, or you do the multiple, that I might have changed, I think it's changed by itself, well oh, that's gray, my fault, I'm sorry, that's light blue, and you can set it whatever color you want it to be, you can go, you will make sure like make close as you can. I mean, whatever you want to set it to, you go to it. And this is the one that changes all of them. You really can't see it that way. I'm gonna get it a shot. They go through all the colors by sitting. That's on you if you want to do whatever. I put mine on blue. And we got the background. I got the graphics. You can do the clock. You can also do camera pictures. We gotta put the SD card in first. Do the pictures. You do that. Background. Do all the. You know what I'm all them graphics. Background. So. Then we got custom. Which I don't know nothing about that yet. I guess that's when you, some kind of software got loaded and make it custom. Well, that's basically it. Push up the magnifying glass, go to all your songs, go back to all your songs. I got Terrace Porter. Techniques, I got all my songs. I got different categories. I got rap, old school, RB, gospel, bass songs. And I can go to my music videos. Put palm videos, it comes up. It comes up, but it now I gotta switch media to make that come up. That's the only thing I hate about it. If you don't play certain media, you gotta, you gotta hit the switch media before you can do it. As I say, you know what I'm saying? You got music, pictures, videos, and I got stuff on a lot of stuff on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, then they got dual zone, which you can turn on the rear to the front where it's showing up front. It's not gonna show what's on the screen right now, only shows what the video is playing when the, when the movie is playing. So, let me see, change media, hit the media button to change media or the videos. Then I hit the magnify glass. It should show me all my videos. I guess it gotta load up again. The only thing it does is take a long time to load up with the hard drive on it.
Now the white video friend, you have to hook one of the white that the, the emergency brake wire to I think it's the ground. Or you hook it to a target switch and just push it off. Let's push it on. But as you can see, it shows it's the front output. Let's push it shows on the front. So it shows the video. Yeah. But I like it that way because I could also put my Navi back, my Navi up, put that mode button, and have my Navi and my movie playing at the same time. So, so the person passing it on the passenger side, as you can see, could also watch their movie. So, you know what I'm saying? So, but the Navi scream is also good to hit home. Go to navigation, put your address of where you want to go, and all that. And here we go. And let me see, go back to media photos. So now, as you see, you got a lot of the photos. Well, you, you know, um, come on. It's a long, boring video, but I'm just showing you step by step. Just reading the photos. No, no. Okay. Got the photos I was looking for. Okay, pictures. Also, all the pictures and shows on the screen. That's my girl. So, all the pictures shows on the screen. As you see, so it go through all the pictures by itself. So, and just go back to hit the media button again. Go back to music, and it takes a while to load back up again. And shoot. Is that about it? So, if you got any more questions, I mean, just let me know. Alright. Alright, peace out.